Hello, it's Scott Manley here, still on vacation. Yes, um, standing basically on the cliffs on the west coast. This is just north of Bodega Bay, which is, of course, where they shot the movie The Birds. We haven't been attacked by the birds, thankfully, but uh, plenty of... Po oh, wait, there's a bird right now. Wait, oh, no, he's okay. Um, yeah, so obviously, again, towards the end of the vacation, and I've been taking lots of pictures, and I've been sharing a few things on Twitter. And there's one thing I did want to bring into the channel. Now, it's not about rockets, it's not about planes, but it is about flying things. So, I've seen quite a few birds on this trip. And in particular, there was one place we stopped where there were tons of hummingbirds. Now, hummingbirds are birds which are native to the Americas. They uh, aren't seen in Europe generally. They are the smallest birds. They have the fastest metabolism of any warm-blooded animal. They are amazing and their flying skills are unlike anything else. They are able to not just hover in place, right, with their head remaining motionless in the way that bricks don't, but they also have the ability to fly backwards and forwards and left and right and up and down and I've got some of this video because I've been shooting stuff with my Sony RX10, you know, quick plug, love this camera, but it does basically everything. Okay, so hummingbirds basically fly like no other birds, right? They're able to hover, and certainly there are other species that are able to hover. But how hummingbirds hover is their wings kind of are vertical. Most birds, they basically their wings are horizontal like the wings on planes, but hummingbirds, they're flying more like drones. They're whapping these wings back and forth kind of uh, like a tail, I guess, on a fish. And that is what they use to provide lift. Now, obviously they have tail feathers, which you can see move around to adjust the, the flow of air over it. If you look very carefully at this video, you can actually see that as these wings beat back and forth, you know, I don't know how I many, this must be like 30 to 50 times a second. I didn't actually count it, but it's pretty darn fast. Uh, as these wings beat back and forth, you can actually see the feathers ruffling carefully behind them or, you know, just being stirred up behind them. So, you know, hummingbird motion, hummingbird flight has been studied in uh, wind tunnels and things like that using high-speed cameras, all the usual tools. And, of course, people have written a great many papers. One of the things they see is uh, there's these great visualizations of wake vortices that are produced by the wingtips. Uh, hummingbirds also, they've lost the extended wingtips that most birds have there uh, to basically make the wings more efficient, right? Because they're getting all their energy from flapping the wings back and forth, they've actually dropped these wingtips because it makes them hard, it makes it harder for them to generate that amount of force. So yeah, I just like utterly fascinated by watching these things moving. Hummingbirds also have one of the most developed visual cortexes. So they are able to compensate for all the different motions. And you'll notice they keep their head very still. It's, it's really amazing, especially if you watch that previous video of the two hummingbirds facing off against each other. Because hummingbirds use this flying technique, their uh, pectoral muscles are actually weaker relative to other birds, but their, uh, the other muscles, which I completely forget, the muscles that pull their wings back, they're actually much stronger than any bird because they have to kind of get uh, their power from both strokes of the wing. Now, this video, of course, shows the bird eating from the flower. Well, it's obviously a feeder. Uh, while it's flying, but I mean, they're quite capable of landing on a solid surface and sticking their tongue, they're sticking their beak in there and feeding. And obviously they need to because these they're generating a huge amount of energy. Uh, another interesting adaptation the hummingbirds have apparently is that they are able to digest their food and make it available to the mussels faster than basically almost any other species on the planet. Anyway, look, you know, this is just an excuse to show you this amazing footage, and this just blows my mind. So yeah, uh, I'm hopefully these things won't attack me. After all, I am in Bodega Bay, but uh, uh, other than that, yeah, I hope to be back soon, very, very soon. I am almost home, and I will see you there with more videos about actual rockets. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.